Gems have captivated mankind for millennia. We are going for the finest. We're going for the unusual. We're trying to find something that no one else has found, no one else has felt, no one else has experienced. And that's what we're trying to show to the world. What are the great iconic gems of the world that are all natural and 100 carats. Being over 100 carats was the first criteria, but then the second probably more important criteria was the quality of the stone. These have to be the best that we can possibly find. And when this discovery in Tanzania came up, it was just, it was meant to be. At first you look at it and go, hmm, okay, it's a sapphire. And then you start looking more deeply in it and you see so much more, mm -hmm. such as even red flashes, deep green flashes, blue flashes, purple flashes. And then in different light, it color moves all the way through the stone. Well, there's green on the ends, purple on the tops and bottoms. When was this discovered? Uh, just this year. Just this year. Mm -hmm. Wow. The world has never seen this. That's unbelievable. This is another outstanding highlight to the exhibit. I mean, we'll never be able to do this again. The Crown of Columbia. 241 carat gem Colombian emerald. Very rare. Combination of that cutting, size, clarity, and as they say in Colombia, the crystal. This is one of my favorites, Robert. Green tourmaline, perfectly cut. One of the things that's unique about color is that the larger the piece of rough, the more it holds the color in. And then once you cut it up, it blows a lot of the color away. But the beauty of crown facets, as we call them on the top of the stone, is that it creates interest. It, it, it creates a variety of different shades of the color as we, we turn the stone or as it shows in reflections. How about the Piriba? When it gets this big, it tends to have a lot more inclusions in them, but the having something this large and that clean. It's difficult to find a 10 carat, let alone a 20, <laughs> and then to have a 100 this clean and yeah. this fine and this color. I mean, the, the crystal that grew must have been absolutely enormous to produce a gem mm. like this. I'm a little bit biased in this, but I think if it was any other museum, they wouldn't have taken it to the sort of scientific level that we're taking it to. These gemstones are valuable as scientific resources because we need to know like more about our planet. We need to know how, like, how we came into being. And these gemstones are just prime examples of why Earth is so special. Nowhere else in the solar system are you gonna find these gemstones, only on Earth. This is a 120 carat sapphire, a kaleidoscope of worlds inside. What's so fascinating is, you know, we left one unpolished oh, the way we did. saw it. And all the rest of the sides are polished, so it has kept in its specimen form. I love seeing the rough face because that shows, like, how the crystal actually grows in the ground. Mm. Like, what does it look like? What are we looking for in gemstones and sapphires? Oh, look at that. These tubes. Sometimes they're hollow and they, they get filled in with fluids and gases at the time of formation. Mm -hmm. And so this is like a time capsule. We are taking impressions of all of the gems that are going to be included in the 100 carats show so that we can cast custom molds. Mm -hmm. The goal is obviously to create a mount that gives no visual interruption of the viewer's experience with the piece. We think about the center of gravity. We think about seismic stability. In the event of an earthquake, we don't want anything to interact with its mount in a way that would cause damage. Inside the vault of the 17 loose stones, 100 carat. Then on the outside of the vault will all be mounted pieces from 50 to 100 carats. This incredible exhibition really illustrates why the human zeal and the passion for gemstones over 4,000 years has never diminished. They have the essence of permanent natural beauty. They're unchanging. And I think in a world that's constantly changing, this gives them great power. Who could assemble this many 100 carat and larger stones? and what a treat it's going to be for the audience once in a lifetime.